Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, next update. So uh, it's a really nice day here. Uh, it's about 65 degrees. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I uh, hope you're sitting around doing nothing, being waited on hand and foot. Um, anyway, let's let's get to the update. So a uh, majority of this week and evening and yesterday was getting the windshield surround ready. Um, we're going to uh, cover it in carbon fiber so that we can show that off as the finished look. The reason we're doing this is because we're going to get ready to put the windshield in. So uh, wait for that hopefully uh, next weekend or so. Um, and uh, we're going to also show you us cutting some glass. So we're going to cut the glass for the quarter windows. See how that goes um, before we move on to uh, the windshield. Um, other things, we've rotated our uh, speakers and got them into a nice mount. I've again worked on the doors. The doors are taking quite a bit of work to get them to fit perfectly, so I'm getting pretty happy with them. Uh, it's nice that, yes, they're fiddly, but it's nice to get down to small details where you can just concentrate on those and then uh, things start moving forward and, and nice. Uh, the other thing is is that we're gonna uh, start fitting the hood. Uh, you can see I've done some body work to uh, where the panels uh, failed, uh, basically where they sunk in a little bit. Um, again, we used our carbon fiber and, and body filler, Duraglass actually mixture, uh, which makes that stuff really tough. Uh, and then we can drape another layer of carbon fiber on top of that. So um, I hope, hopefully we'll show off the carbon fiber a little bit before we actually paint the car, but we'll see uh, how that goes. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, some, some people have asked me what I'm doing here with these uh, rear view mirrors or side mirrors. And what I'm doing is... <laughs> They are going to be fully functional, so we'll be able to retract them or rotate them. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to use one of the modules that we uh, use for the door glass. The reason for that is because it has a current limiter in there, so it knows when it's at its end of travel. And it also can reverse the current uh, or, the, or uh, the voltage to uh, swing them back out. So... And that's basically just a one-touch system. We'll hijack that into the switch that goes into that handle over there for uh, tip and tilt on the mirrors. And we'll just use that particular switch to do the tip and tilt of the mirrors themselves. So I'm um, hoping that'll work. We, uh, we expect that there won't be much of an issue uh, with that. Also, starting to refine more body lines, uh, refining the door lines here. Um, going to try to make them as small a gap as I possibly can. Uh, I just think that'll uh, make the car look uh, professionally done, even though it's not professionally done. <laughs> uh, spent some other time uh, getting the roof uh, all straightened out. And the reason for that is that we want that shot line where basically if you stand back and you look at the car, you see symmetry. You don't see one side doing something that the other side's not. Um, so a little bit more detail work there, but uh, we're doing pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then we also uh, fiddled with the doors, <laughs> shocker, uh, getting them to A, come up uh, at the same angle from the side, <clears throat> and also the same angle when you look uh, head on on the car. And that's doing pretty well. <laughs> Let's show you uh, where the 3D printing is going. So we're down here in the 3D printing room. Um, we've got uh, basically our diffuser here. Um, it, uh, the ASA is, is uh, sometimes challenging to work with and sometimes not. Um, so this has come out with uh, the parts having quite a few distortions, but we're building it up to um, basically get the structure nice and sound and to make sure that uh, everything is laying out straight 
Um, we have a new opening for the exhaust surround and I'm going to make that out of uh, steel uh, using the 3D printed template uh, so that we don't transmit heat into this part. After uh, I get this together, we will bodywork it and then uh, we'll cover it in carbon fiber. So that'll give it some extra strength. Um, the other thing too is, is that because um, I had some uh, open uh, gaps and whatnot in the last diffuser, it turned out really heavy. It's got to be 70 pounds, uh, mainly because of all the epoxy uh, that got in there. Um, and again, that causes warping and other problems. So uh, we uh, decided to go ahead. We're printing this out of ASA, as I said, and uh, this should be a much lighter and we get to use techniques that we've uh, learned and uh, not do mistakes that we've done in the past. So again, uh, this is all a big experiment and that's uh, obvious from uh, what we're doing here. Now, one of the other things that I've done is print out uh, handles. So, if I can show you inside the printer, we just finished printing. We've got these handles I designed. These are for the door on the inside. So, you can see there's a handle bit back here, and then there's a carrier here. And this will actually do the door actuation from the inside. From the outside, um, I got the Lamborghini... Uh, those uh, latches and they're electronic. So I still have to figure out how to hotwire those um, into the Lamborghini actual door latches that I have. So uh, there's no schematics on them, so we're gonna have to take them apart and see what we can do. So that's the next update. Um, I'm gonna get back to sanding this and making sure that it's perfectly smooth. Then, um, we're going to uh, put epoxy over the top. I'm going to use some black pigment that I have that I've been using for some of the body filler. And that way the uh, glazing putty that you see on here won't show through. And then we'll uh, adhere our beauty layer of carbon fiber on the top. Give that a few coats of epoxy and then uh, hit it with the 2K clear. So hopefully it'll look really nice. Uh, and then I guess that will be one of the first true finished parts uh, if it turns out without uh, having any distortions. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.